Greetings, Grey Witch here. Today I wanted to talk to you about Director Mode and Underwater Exploring and why it's the coolest way to do this. Now, to get into Director Mode, what you need to do is load Story Mode, make sure that your character is outside and not in a vehicle or anything like that, and then load the Rockstar Editor. And then once you load the Rockstar Editor, you can go into Director Mode. Now when you're at the trailer, you want to choose one of the main three characters, Trevor, Michael, Franklin, and then hit the square button on PS4 to change the appearance until you get to the scuba suit. And that's how you can have the cool look like this, and traveling underwater and stuff like that. Now why this is better is you are invincible. You can stay underwater for forever. I mean, you don't have to come up at all because you can control your weather, your health, everything. You can make yourself invincible, give yourself all kinds of... It's kind of like being a modder in story mode. Kind of. Not really, but you do have some advantages that are pretty cool. And this is a really cool way to explore underwater. And then why it's better than just online underwater exploring is story mode the entire underwater area is being used. There's abundant sea life. There's all kinds of little creatures and hidden stuff that's in story mode that's not on the online version. So it's a lot better to explore. And just seeing right here, all the orca whales that are swimming around. I mean, this is really cool. I dig this a lot because I personally will never go in the ocean to do this because the ocean is full of monsters and I learned a long time ago to not go in the ocean. So this is my way of exploring the ocean without actually ever being in the ocean, which for me is really cool. And there's just tons of stuff that you can do in here and it's just, it's really cool. It's a really tranquil way to just have a lot of fun playing the game. There's no stress, there's nobody trying to kill you, you know, except for the occasional monster in the water, but I'll show you more about that later. And it's a lot of fun just to hang out and just try to find all these secrets and mysteries and stuff like that that are under the water. And there are a lot of them. And just a lot of cool stuff to look at. Like if you come over to where I'm coming now, to this, this uh, plane wreck. If you just normally on story, you know, just regular story mode or something like that, and where you have to keep going back up for breath, you never really get to explore this area. Even with rebreathers, you've only got a limited amount of time underwater. But once you get down here in director mode and you can stay under here the entire time, you'd start to learn that this plane was actually taken out by gunfire. Because if you look at the windows, they're all been shot out from the inside. So it's kind of like a little mystery. It's like, well, how did this plane get taken down? Was there a terrorist attack or something like that? And then you start investigating into story mode and then you find out more and more. So it's pretty cool. There's, there's stories inside of stories, which is something that's really interesting and it's a way to keep story mode fresh especially if you haven't really played it a lot. Now one thing that will make this better is the farther you've gotten in story mode the more you can unlock regarding with weapons, vehicles, and stuff like that. So if you've already beaten story mode and you've got the big payout at the end you know start buying your vehicles like the helicopters and stuff like that in story mode that way you can use them in director mode. Now you will come across stuff that's like this. This is pretty creepy here. This dead body that's under the water. And this is a fresh grave. I mean, it's wearing the concrete shoes and everything. You can tell it's fresh because there's still skin on the body. Because if this was underwater for a long time, that'd be a skeleton. It's crazy because it's a chick. She's all dressed in like a business suit. So something happened. You know, it's just another one of those underwater mysteries that's really cool. It's like, what happened? How did she get here? And this isn't even the only body. They're out by the islands by Polito Bay. There are a lot of bodies wrapped up in plastic that are really cool to go find. And it's just, you know, stuff like that. It's like, who's the serial killer? You know, and there's another animal. There's a stingray. It's pretty cool. All kinds of crazy animals and stuff in here. Now, one thing you do have to worry about, even though this is director mode, the entire time you're in the water, you are being hunted because there are sharks. And, like, right now, I'm being really chased by this shark. You can't see him right yet, but you will, because he's trying to flank me. And, so there is underwater danger, and you do need to watch out for that. But it's, it's fun. I mean, it's, you know, you're trying to hide from a predator. 
And this right here, that, that's the main reason why I don't go in the ocean, because the ocean's full of monsters. People are like, yeah, well, you're just scared. Nobody ever gets attacked by sharks. You got a better chance to get hit by a car. Yeah, probably. But I don't stand in the street either. That's why I don't go in the ocean. I don't know. It's pretty crazy. But this is a lot of fun to do. Let me try not to get killed by this shark. See if I can stab him in the face. Took him out. But it is a lot of fun, and I recommend everyone doing this. It's it's a blast. All right, this is Grey Witch. I hope this video helps you out, and I will see you next time. Peace.